In this problem, we have a particle that consists of a nucleus containing nine neutrons and one proton with nine electrons orbiting around it. And over here, we have a diagram showing a atom inside. We've got the nucleus, that's this here. It tells us in the question that contains nine neutrons and one proton. And it mentions over here, the number of subatomic particles may not be reflected in the diagram. So that's why we can't see nine of one color and one of the other. However, we do know that those are both in the nucleus and then orbiting around the outside shown by these rings, those are our nine electrons. Okay, so we're gonna be figuring out the overall charge on our particle here. The first question is how do the number of protons and electrons compare? Because we know protons are positively charged and electrons are negatively charged. In this question, we have one proton and nine electrons. So we have more electrons than protons. As a result, the net charge is going to be negative since electrons are negatively charged. And here we have more negative charges than positive charges. So what is the sign of the net charge on the particle? It's going to be negative. Neutrons, remember, are neutral. They have a charge of zero, so they don't affect the charge either way. Okay, so our last thing to do is find the magnitude of the net charge on the particle. Now we know that we have nine electrons. Each electron has a charge of negative E. So we have nine multiplied by negative E or negative nine E charge for our electrons. Protons have a positive charge. We have one proton with a charge of positive E. So the charge of our proton is just going to be E. So our total charge on our particle is negative nine E and E. So if we add those together, negative nine E plus E, that gets us a charge of negative eight E. So the net charge we have is to do with how many more of one particle we have compared with the other. And it's negative because we had more electrons than protons. This E, that means elementary charge, the charge on a proton or a neutron, uh, sorry, the charge on a proton or an electron. It's the same for both apart from electrons are negative and protons positive. So our overall charge magnitude, that means we don't need to include the negative is eight E. Final thing we can do is find that in units of coulombs, E is the elementary charge on one proton or one electron. And it has a value of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. So a really tiny number for the charge on one proton or one electron. So if we know that our charge is 8E, we can calculate that in terms of coulombs by just multiplying out by our E value. So negative 8E is the same as negative 8 times E, which is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. If we multiply that out, we're getting get an answer of negative 1.28 times 10 to the power of negative 18 coulombs. So that's our charge on our particle overall. Again, it asks for the magnitude. So we don't need to include the negative sign when we type this in. 1.28 times 10 to the negative 18. Final thing I'll mention is that when you put this into positive physics, you're gonna be using the scientific notation convention where the letter E represents times 10 to the power of. So you would write this in as 1.28 E negative 18.